God sent us another ransom. His name is Jesus Christ. You guys call him Isa. In the Quran, it does say, let me say this verse, you can comment later. Surah Al-Ma'idah 117. In English, Muhammad Asad and Taktil, they said, when you caused me to die. Muhammad Pikthal did not translate here with when you cause me to die. In fact, I've put the translation from Muhammad William Pikthal on the screen and you can see that he wrote, Thou tooketh me, not that you caused me to die. This is a lie. Can you just uh, find 5117 for me? Sir, uh, it's 116. You, you, you said 5117. Yes, yes, I'm getting in my... Then 118. I couldn't find... And I was witness on that. But when you took me, when okay. you took me, this is a wrong translation. <laughs> now, 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 now it becomes a wrong translation. Muhammad Asad. Go ahead. Asad translation. Please read it. Please read it. Thou has caused me to die. Sure. Thou has caused me to die. This is Muhammad Asad. He's not a Christian guy. What is the truth? I really want to believe in any of these. Any of them? But there is no. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Is the truth. Okay. Whatever okay. Is. I will explain any. it. No yeah. problem. Yeah. Okay. I got no, you. Please. I'm really confused, guys. Well, I'm Where here to clear truth? up your confusion. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, can I speak? Yeah. Absolutely. Now, when we talk about tafsir, right? Muhammad Asad, for example, as you know, he was not a scholar of hadith, right? You know his background. This is not true. It's not true? No. Where did he study hadith? This is the lie is a blatant lie. Muhammad Asad was a Austro-Hungarian Jew who reverted to Islam. He never officially studied Islam. It was self-taught. The only thing he studied was the history of art and philosophy in Vienna. His translation was banned in Saudi Arabia in 1974 due to glaring errors. He never studied in Qawwarim University. This is a lie. In Umm al he uh -huh. studied Hadith. That's uh -huh. a second lie today. Oh, uh, no, okay. okay. We, we will look that up. Lie, no. If we look that up, first lie, at least you admit it's the first lie. How do we understand the Quran? First, we look at the Quran's tafsir with the Quran itself. Without anybody's translations, you have to look at when the Quran explains himself. And when the Quran itself says that they did not kill Isa ibn Maryam, then we make tafsir of the ayah with the Quran. Wafa here meaning that he was taken, not killed. Yeah. Now, if somebody, if somebody mistranslates it because they don't have enough of the Arabic Sorry, language, repeat, can, I'm, I'm gonna finish. Wafa. No, no, I'm no, gonna finish. It. It. Wafa. On it. What's wafa. The of wafa. It can mean death. It can mean taken away. It can mean lifted. It can have many. It can mean separated. Wafa bin dunya yani you're separated from the dunya. Tayyib. Muhammad Asad did not study hadith. If you had, then the tafsir of the Quran bil Quran would have told you here wafa means to be taken away and not dead. And that's why the more Accurate translation. Of, uh, not uh, taken away, not dead. Remember, not dead, remember. taken away. Yes. T taken away, not sure. dead. Sure. I have here a picture of Mukhtar al sahaf the official Arabic dictionary <laughs> that everyone follows. Official Arabic dictionary. Here to the camera, please. This is a picture of Mukhtar al sahaf about the verb wafa that the Imam said. He said that it doesn't mean to die. Please read. You want to read Arabic? Did, did I say it doesn't mean to die? Or did I say there's okay. multiple meanings? Okay. What did I say? There is nothing. There is nothing more than to die. Nothing. It's their own handout shows that they're lying. That's why they don't translate. Look, it says wafaya in the top right hand corner. The root word shows that it has the meaning of loyalty. It has a meaning of keeping your promises. Many different meanings come from the same word. This is from Mukhtar al-Siha. This is a dictionary that they say is official. There's no official dictionary, but this is a dictionary. It's a single volume little work, but it shows wafaya, the root word makes derivatives from them wafat, which has a meaning of death. But bigger books like Lisan al-Arab, and I've shown both on the left, the little skinny green volume is what they're referencing. On the right, the volume is work, Lisan al-Arab. It shows that wafat also has the meaning of taking something completely or removing something, or counting the completeness of a nation. So this shows that saying that it only has a meaning of death is a lie, because the Arabic dictionaries show that there are multiple meanings. Now, in the early works of Qur'an, there is Jamil al-Ahkam al-Qur'an of Qurtabi, 
Here Al-Hassan Al-Basri, one of the early scholars, shows the word wafat. In that particular derivative, it has come with three different meanings in the Quran. One, to mean death. Second, to mean sleep. And he has references that Allah is the one that give you, gives you wafat in the night, meaning the sleep, Surah An'am. And also rafa to be lifted up as it was done with Isa ibn Maryam. Did I say it doesn't mean to die? Or did I say there's okay. multiple meanings? Okay. What did I say? There is nothing, there is nothing more than to die. Nothing, it's only to die. <laughs>